Welcome back to our channel. At this video we will learn new Primavera P6 tricks. At the end of this video, you will be able to know how to use activity codes in Primavera P6. This is a totally free tutorial, so don't forget to support us by clicking the thumb up and subscribe. Without wasting time, let's start. In this tutorial, I will explain to you everything about activity codes. Let me open my schedule. In this schedule I have several activities such as excavations, rebar works, formworks, concrete, waterproofing, and lot more. Now I want to organize my schedule in a way make me able to check it easily. For example, I might receive a question from my boss for the amount of excavation planned up certain date, and the amount done to that date. Or I might need to report how much the planned total cost for an activity, and what we have achieved. Now notice that the excavation activities are distributed at different WBS, and it will be difficult to check on them one by one. But I still can organize my schedule in a way that includes activities trades under the same heading such as excavation, backfilling, and concrete till the end of the trades. Now let me show you how we can do these simple steps. First from menu up I'll go to enterprise, then I will click on activity codes. Now previously I have prepared some activity codes you can see here, and I will add new activity code to show you how it's made. So now I will press on add. As an example, the new code value will be 49. And the description of that code will be formwork fixing in superstructure. Now I will assign the activities of formworks fixing its superstructure areas to this code. The activities might be at different WBS, but it doesn't matter. So, remember the code 49. We will use to assign those activities. Now notice that I have many other activity codes here as well such as demolition, excavation, anti-terminate backfilling, formworks fixing and superstructure drainage till the end of the list. I have prepared all these activity codes to organize, organize my schedule in an easy way as you will see later at this tutorial. Now let's me show you an example on how to assign activity codes. Now from filter I will filter the activities name include excavation. So, the filter will be activity name contains excavation. So now Primavera will filter for me all activities names have excavation within its description. Press on and apply. Now you can see these activities under different WBS, and it is related to excavation works. To assign the codes I will add a new column from here. This new column will be under activity codes which I named earlier as SMC project. Then click on apply and OK. Now the new column appears here, and I can assign excavation code which name is code 2. Now I will select the first activity on my list and the last activity on my list while pressing shift. Now all the excavation activities have been selected. Then I will press mouse right click and choose to fill down, so all the excavation activities now have the same code number 2. Similarly, I can assign all other activity codes such as rebar, concrete, and others. Now I'll remove the filter I has made and choose to show all activities. Now since I have assigned all schedule activities to a code, I will show you how to use it. Now click on view, and then choose group and sort. 
Now I can organize activities using the activity codes I made and named SMC project. Select that one. I will apply. Okay. Now, all my activities are organized by activity codes. As an example, we can see excavation activities, and we can see the total duration and remaining durations we need to finish all excavation activities. Now all information related to that specific activity is available to us. Even we can see the total plan start and finish dates for excavation. We can see the total plan to date and the actual performance as well. Now let's scroll down and we can see the anti-termite, backfilling, drainage, waterproofing till the end of the codes list. Now our project is organized in a new way we can use to get data from in an easy way. Now, it is a very easier for you to analyze your schedule using activity coding. Thanks for watching.